Thank you everyone for joining us. This is Jerry Godro. I'm with Global Scanning and Color Track Large Format Scanners. And uh, we're here today to uh, see a short presentation on our, uh, our SmartWorks imaging. And we're very lucky to have our uh, Color Track uh, Large Format Scanning expert, Fred Pagani, uh, joining us to do our presentation. And uh, he is not only an expert in Color Track scanners, but a large format scanning overall. Uh, I'm Fred Pagani from the Color Track slash Global Scanning America's office in Virginia. I'm going to be talking today about SmartWorks Imaging, which is our advanced scan and copy software for our new scanner models. Um, I'm going to tell you basically uh, the, the distinct differences between SmartWorks Imaging and our legacy uh, advanced software called SmartWorks Pro. Okay. So here we go. All right, SmartWorks Imaging. This is the home screen for SmartWorks Imaging, and it's kind of broken up into sections, so maybe it'll be easier to understand what's going on. So on the left side of the screen, that panel, that's basically your scan setup panel. That's where you set up the scan. You choose uh, which uh, preset you want to use, scan preset. We embedded 10 presets that hopefully will get you a good scan with uh, uh, less chance of making any kind of adjustments to your image. That's the whole point of our presets. Um, so you can pick your preset up in this area right here. Uh, you can go down below and pick your scan resolution. Uh, you can uh, name your file and choose your scan destination folder. All of that good stuff here on the scan setup panel. Up at the top here, this next section, uh, it's quick view edit tool. So when you do a scan, you're going to see the whole scan show up in this main viewer right here. Uh, these tools are if you need to make an adjustment to what you're looking at. Maybe you need to crop the image for display here in the viewer, or maybe you have to skew the image. Maybe it was slightly skewed on insertion, so you want to skew it to make it look better. But those tools, uh, which change the view of your overall image in the viewer are right here. These are quick edit tools here for the viewing of your image. All right, again, this is the main viewer. This is where you're going to see your scan, the whole scan after you, the scan is captured. If you're doing a multi-page scan, you'll get this extra section here, section three, uh, which allows you to look at uh, your multi-page scan as you're actually doing it. So the first scan will show up as a thumbnail, the second scan will be the next thumbnail, and so on and so on until you go through all your images. So this, this one panel here, section three, is only when you're doing multi-page scanning, okay? Section four over here, these are uh, image edit tools, so once you've got your scan in here and you're happy with the display, you can touch up your image, maybe uh, doing a little line sharpening, edge sharpening, or uh, maybe changing some colors, or doing a white point or a black point adjustment. All of that happens right in this panel here, okay? And again, this is the main viewer right here. SmartWorks Imaging supports all of the current Color track scanner models, the SC or SCI scanners, the SG or the newer SGI scanners. SmartWorks Imaging provides for scan to file, or you can send your scan directly to a printer, which is essentially a copy, scan to copy. SmartWorks Imaging comes with a 30-day trial license that is fully functional. So you can actually load up the software under the 30-day trial license and actually make scans and save scans that are going to be uh, good scan quality that you can share with uh, others. SmartWorks license code uh, for the software, um, you'll get a software license code. There's no need to use any hardware USB license dongles or anything like that. We'll, we'll send you a license code, which you just put in. It's just a alphanumeric license code. SmartWorks Imaging has been updated for the newer market in that you can use your tablet using the SmartWorks Imaging link that integrates your tablet with the SmartWorks Imaging software. We've also included a little stand for your tablet that you can mount on the scanner lid. 
one of the biggest differences between SmartWorks Imaging and SmartWorks Pro software is SmartWorks Imaging provides direct scan to multi-page PDF or multi-page TIFF. In the software, in the upper left corner, you can choose, by default, it's scan to file, but you can choose to scan directly to any uh, printer that's available to your PC. And all we need, actually, is a Windows driver for your printer, and then your printer would show up on the list of available printers here on the screen. So you can choose scan to file, which is the default right here, or you can drop it down and do a scan directly to a printer or a copy. SmartWorks Pro for scan and copy. SmartWorks Pro has two licenses that are available. So when you purchase SmartWorks Pro, you can buy it for scan only. You won't have an ability to send a copy, uh, but you can also choose to buy the other license, which is a scan and copy license. The difference here is, you, number one, you don't need a license dongle. And again, with SmartWorks Imaging, you get the ability to scan or copy built into the software right out of the box. You get a 30-day trial license, and this is the screen. This is what it looks like. You put in your email, your name, your last name, your company, and you actually go through this software registration after you install the software. That 30-day trial license is fully functional, so you can make scans and save scans right from day one. Uh, again, no need to add any hardware or any kind of hardware lock, uh, USB lock. SmartWorks Pro, on the other hand, for the initial demo version, you get 30 days also, but the scans will have watermarks on them. So your scans, these demo scans, are not really scans that you can share. You can look at the scan quality, but again, every scan will have a watermark. After the uh, demo, when you do get your USB license dongle for the software, you have to install a driver. It's called a HAS driver for the SmartWorks Pro license dongle. Okay. Keep in mind that nowadays some fed federal or state or local governments, they really don't want to add any kind of USB hardware to their existing PCs. They kind of frown upon it. So again, SmartWorks Imaging does not need any kind of USB license dongle. Everything is a software license and, and such. So that's a much better fit for those uh, federal, state, and local government installations. SmartWorks Imaging Link, you can see right here the tablet stand that comes in the box with your scanner. You mount it right there on the lid, and all you have to do is go to your app store, search for Color Track, download the SmartWorks Imaging app, you open it up, and then through a very simple process, you can link your tablet to SmartWorks Imaging on your PC and therefore have the ability to drive your scans directly from your tablet, not have to go back to your PC. You can stand right there at the scanner and start scans through your tablet. SmartWorks Pro doesn't have any way to uh, integrate any kind of tablets or anything like that, so that's a distinct advantage as well. Again, SmartWorks Pro is much more of the legacy uh, software. It's been around many, many years. Uh, but SmartWorks Imaging is the new software, so it knows the new environments out there. So we decided to support tablet integration. The biggest difference between the two is that SmartWorks Imaging can scan directly to multi-page PDF or multi-page TIFF. When you choose multi-page, which is right in this corner here, when you choose multi-page, you go down below and you tell the software if you're going to do multi-page PDF or TIFF, it's a little drop down right here. As you do your scans, the scans will show in the viewer and you'll get a thumbnail of that scan and you go to the next scan and it gives you the next thumbnail and so on and so on. If you have to make any adjustments to any of these scans as you're building your multi-page, you take a moment, you do whatever adjustments up here, crop or diskew. You can go down on the right side and change colors, white point, black point, any of that kind of stuff. Very easy to do. Once you do your change, you have to go here and save that image, and then it allows you to continue scanning multi-page PDF or multi-page chip. 
SmartWorks Pro, on the other hand, being the legacy product, it does not a a allow for direct multi-page PDF scanning or direct multi-page TIFF scanning. What you can do in SmartWorks Pro is you can scan your TIFFs or your PDFs, and at the end, there is a way that you can create a multi-page PDF or a multi-page TIFF by selecting scans previously made and sorting them and building your multi-page file. The difference again, SmartWorks Imaging, direct scan to multi-page PDF or multi-page TIFF. No need to build it, you're building it on the fly, which is a, a, an extremely useful option and a distinct, probably the biggest uh, advantage to using SmartWorks Imaging over SmartWorks Pro. Because everybody nowadays, it looks to me from my calls, uh, people are using multi-page PDF and TIFF, uh, multi-page PDF probably more so than TIFF, but that's what people want. They want the ability to scan several sheets in as a multi-page PDF and just create one scan file after scanning multiple sheets. Whenever you're scanning uh, maps with color markups, you have to scan in color. And if that's going to be our grayscale, and that's going to be a very large file size. Mm -hmm. If you uh, want a multi uh, image or multi page yeah. PDF, that's, mm -hmm. that's going to be absolutely huge. So, are you going to have to zip that uh, afterwards uh, to send it to somebody or? Well, it depends, right? Some multi-page files, this is Fred again, I'm sorry, I'm just jumping in. Some multi-page files are just, you know, five or six sheets, but yet other multi-page files can have 40 sheets. So obviously the file size is going to be a, a lot bigger. Um, with the software, though, you can choose to add extra compression to your multi-page PDF file, which would give you a smaller file result. But again, you know, when you scan 40 sheets, it's going to be a big file. So if you're, or if you're trying to share that file with others, uh, it would all depend on what's the last resort, uh, how big is that file, and then you'd have to choose possibly to zip it or something like that. But it all depends. And I think we've got a kind of a follow-up question to that, uh, asking about the compression ratio on multi-page. Mm -hmm. So in our software, in the drop-down box there on the left side, in the part of that scan setup, you can choose to um, uh, compress those files even more. We, we compress them at a certain compression ratio uh, to begin with, but you can increase the compression, which would uh, uh, make the file size a little bit smaller uh, to a point. So we do give you some ways to, uh, to work with that, to get that smallest ultimate file size, uh, but we can only do so much. You know, if you're scanning 40 sheets and they're big sheets and you're scanning in color, it's still going to be a big file, whether it's compressed, uh, overly compressed or not. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Oh, and, and I had a question. So uh, the, um, with the uh, SmartWorks Imaging Link software, now, mm -hmm. so that's an app that you're going to put on a tablet but it's not, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's more of a remote control for the full software on a, on a workstation, right? It's not the, like right, a, a right. small Right, right. You still version. have to have that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You have to have the software actually installed um, on your PC or laptop. Uh, and then what you're essentially doing is linking your tablet to that software. Where you'll do, you'll get this QR code in the laptop display. You scan that QR code, and it links that software on your laptop to the tablet using SmartWorks Imaging gotcha. Link. So essentially, it just passes control uh, to the tablet. But you can still use your laptop. It gives you the option. You can stand in front and use the tablet, or you can use your laptop if you prefer to sit down and and drive scans uh, from your from your laptop or your sure, desktop. Sure, but but the freedom of kind of having a, essentially a remote control wireless with a exactly. tablet to control, exactly. you know, where I think with large format scan, with small format, you're always there at the scanner with the exactly. PC, but with exactly. the big one, you know, you're referencing back and forth, and, and that can be four or five feet away, you know, from exactly. the, the scanner exactly. down. So, this, so the, the, the tablet link, SmartWorks Imaging Link, allows you to be with your documents in front of the scanner and stand right there and just feed your documents and do all your scans very quickly, very efficiently, um, as fast as you possibly could. Right. And and can that app be loaded onto multiple tablets or smart, you know, type devices? 
Well, yeah, I know the the, the tablet works with Android devices or uh, you know iPhones or I, uh, iPads and that kind of thing. Um, you could probably install it on multiple tablets, but obviously at any given time you can only it's, use one. Of those it's directing tablets. to a single operator. Yeah, yeah, because that that tablet at that time is the link with the PC software display. Sure. Okay, fantastic. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you at our next uh, at our next online webinar.